It's the most wonderful time of the year yet again, a time for joy, love, gorging oneself on the holiday treats and the mixed blessing of commercialism and consumerism. It's also the time of the year when I go back and enjoy all my favorite Christmas specials, and I will be doing that in a brand new series I'm calling Christmas Cavalcade. Now, I originally planned to start off this series by reviewing something totally different, but the other night the remote was lost, which meant I ended up watching the premiere of How Murray Saved Christmas, a brand brand new Christmas special from NBC. Now, the thing you gotta understand about new original Christmas specials is they don't come around very often. The thinking seems to be, why sink a bunch of time and money into a piece of animation that can only be shown once a year? And besides, why bother making anything new when after all these years people are still choosing to watch Rudolph, Frosty, and the Grinch? But this year, Simpsons writer Mike Reyes and Futurama director Peter Avanzini decided to give the world something new. The story as it is begins in the town of Stinky cigars, so named as to actively keep people from visiting the town. Why, you might be asking? Well, because the town is home to Santa and all the other holiday mascots, like the April Fool and even the Easter Bunny, who here is voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, and he raps. Yeah, that's part of the problem, but I'll come back to this one in a minute. It seems the only person who doesn't quite fit in with all the festivities is Murray Weiner, voiced by the great Jerry Stiller, a surly deli owner who, when Santa gets injured on the job, is called upon to help Santa. Christmas. Okay, you know what? That's a pretty cute idea for a Christmas special. It seems like they have more than a few good ideas going on. The animation looks very much in line with what you would see on Fox's animated lineup. So how is it then that How Murray Saved Christmas doesn't really hold up? Well, for one thing, it's a musical and not a very good one at that. The songs are pretty grating to listen to, and none of them really stick in your head the way songs like this should. The parts that aren't singing are done in that festive rhyming scheme you've seen in so many other specials. This is cute at first, but even this overstays its welcome, because eventually there just comes a point when you just can't rhyme certain words together and have it make sense. That being said, they did probably pick the best person in the world for narrator. It's the Allstate guy, you know the one I'm talking about. He has a real talent for these kind of things. The special also can't really seem to decide who it's trying to target. On one hand, it pushes some raunchy jokes and references right next to kid-friendly poop jokes and pie-in-the-face gags. This leads leaves Murray Saves Christmas feeling very schizophrenic at times in terms of tone. But like I said at the beginning, I felt this movie did have some really interesting ideas going on for it, but none of these ideas really get a chance to breathe, which is unfortunate. Like in the beginning, how all the other holiday mascots are trying to help the elves, but eventually they just end up fighting each other. This plot line gets dropped, I would have liked to have seen it moved forward. There's a bit where out of nowhere Murray decides that he should start giving gifts to the bad kids too, because everyone deserves to have a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Again, I would have liked to have seen this taken further, but it never is. Then, of course, there's Santa coming too, trying to catch up on Christmas by buying everyone crappy gifts from the only gas station that's open. That's funny, funny stuff, but it's never really given the time it should. Had any of these ideas been expanded upon, I think the special would have been way stronger for it. So, in summation, is Murray Saves Christmas the next big Christmas special they were hoping it to be? Well, that's not exactly for me to say, is it? No one can really call these things. No one can really say for sure what becomes a Christmas classic. It's a wonderful life that got buried when it was first released and only became iconic in TV reruns. Heck, I never even would have pegged Elf to become the big deal that it was, but hey, kids loved it and maybe they'll love this one too. Who knows, maybe Murray has a chance after all. I wasn't exactly in love with it, but hey, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this year, if you're looking for something different to add to your Christmas rotation, you might want to give this one a shot.